Hi guys, I am Rosh, and welcome to Sinata Design. In this video, I will make a rendering comparison between D5 Render and Twin Motion. In this video, I will try a fast rendering, without using Photoshop to finish rendering on the two rendering software. Before going into the video, I need to mention that, this is my first time using D5 Render. So, I still need to learn a lot about D5 Render. Also, I'll try to be fair in comparing the results of the two later. Here, I will try to re-render, render content that I have made before. If you want to watch it, you can click the video link in the top right corner. Okay, let's just jump into the video. The first session, I will try rendering using Twin Motion. First, I will import 3D into Twin Motion. Here, I will ignore the template provided. After that, I just imported the 3D, and immediately changed the default material to Twin Motion material. The material to be changed first is grass material, then roads, then buildings. Then, we will fill in the grass material section using a vegetation scatter. After filling in the grass, we take some dead trees as decoration. After filling it with some decorations, then we fill it with trees. Here, I use vegetation paint to fill in the trees around the building. The next step is to create an image for rendering. Here, I made several settings for rendering the image, starting from the image format and camera settings. Here, I also changed the water material, but changing the water for the path tracing on Twin Motion had to do with a little trick. Here, I use textured glass as a water material, this is because the watery texture on the Twin Motion path tracing, in my opinion, looks more like oil than water. Next, I did a finishing edit. Here, because the trees around the building are still very few, so I try to add some trees to make it look full. Next, I set the lighting on the render area. Here I use the HDRI skylight. After that, turn on the path tracing. Because the lighting is too dark, it is necessary to set the lighting through sun intensity and lighting intensity on HDRI. The last step for twin motion is rendering. Select refinement to high and max lighting on, then render. Next session is to use D5 Render.
Here, I don't use import files into D5 Render, but I use the plugin provided by D5 Render and integrate it directly into D5 Render. After entering into D5 Render, next is to do I try to change the water material. Because here I use the free version, so I use the basic water texture. Next, I tried using an HDRI sky light for environmental lighting. I tried several settings here, until I found the setting that I think is most suitable. The next step is to replace grass, road, and building materials using materials on D5 Render. I haven't downloaded some of the material on the D5 Render yet, so I have to download it first. This is the same when you want to use the Quixel Megascan material on Twinmotion. After changing the material, the same thing as in the previous twin motion, I filled the grass material with 3D grass using the scatter tool. After that, I try to add trees by using brush tool. Then I added a few trees manually. And continued by doing some editing adjustments to the lighting. Last edit was that I added some rocks as filler. Next is to export the image. For the export image, here I use an aspect ratio of 5 to 5 with a resolution of 3840 pixels. After making the rendering settings, just click render. Okay, let's jump to the comparison. Here you can see the two rendered images earlier. The image on the left is the rendering result from Twin Motion, and the image on the right is the rendering result from D5 Render. First let's discuss about the tone color. Here, we can see, the tone colors produced by Twin Motion tend to be sharper while the tone colors on the D5 Render are softer. Secondly, let's discuss the effect of water. Here, the water effect provided by D5 Render tends to be more realistic than the water effect found in Twin Motion. I hope Twin Motion can fix the water effect on path tracing as soon as possible. Next, we'll try zooming in to see details on the trees and grass. Here, we can see that Twin Motion and D5 Render have almost the same 3D texture. Okay guys, that's all from me regarding the comparison between Twinmotion and D5 Render. 
For the record, the opinion above is based on my opinion. So, if you have a different opinion, you can comment in the comments column below. Okay guys, see you in the next video. Ciao!